A 25-year-old man in a stolen vehicle leads Highway Patrol on a high-speed chase across two counties. Ryan Broadbooks is in jail today on charges of eluding police and driving with a suspended license. MTN's Mallory Peebles met up with a homeowner who watched the chase end right outside his backyard. Cars whizzing by is a sound Andy Santiago is used to, but what he heard Thursday night was different. I heard sirens and then I heard screeching uh, and then literally I just turned my head and I saw him zooming down the driveway. Police identified him as 25-year-old Ryan Broadbrooks. Court documents say he led officers on a high-speed chase, at times going 100 miles per hour. They say Broadbrooks got off Interstate 90 and onto Valley Center Drive. A security camera outside Santiago's home and business captures the silver Taurus just before it turns to avoid a roadblock set up by officers. As soon as he came around the corner, he punched it. Santiago says his family was watching from the kitchen window. See how fast he was going. Look at the mud on that Subaru. Now, this mud is thick. Tough for me to even get through with just boots. But the driver not only made it through here in a sedan with two-wheel drive, he also ripped through this field and almost made it onto the highway. It was pretty scary. My kids were inside. They were a little worried because he had just got out. You never know what someone's going to do. Officers say Broadbrooks put his hands up and they took him into custody. But it was like 30 seconds where it was pretty, it was pretty scary. A fast but frightful event for Santiago and his family. Reporting from Bozeman, Mallory Peebles, MTN News. Records show Broadbooks has convictions from 2016 for criminal possession of dangerous drugs in Yellowstone County and a 2012 burglary in Phillips County. He was set to be arraigned today but refused to go before the judge. He remains behind bars at the Gallatin County Jail. A Butte woman